and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thanks for joining me today. For today's lesson, I want to compare two grammar points, used to and be used to. Okay, there is sometimes confusion with these grammar points because they look the same. However, I'm going to show some of the differences between them. I'm going to give us some definitions and I want to take a look at some examples. So let's take a look at the definition first. If we look at this used to, it says here to express a past habit. Okay, when we use this used to, it's always in the past tense. We only talk about events that happened in the past, right? Also, this does not show how long I did something in the past. It only shows that I did something in the past, but I don't do that thing now. Okay, if we look over here with be used to, we can see the definition to express something you are now familiar with. Okay, notice there it says that you are now familiar with. So this means that you were not familiar with something before or you were not comfortable with something before, but now you are comfortable with it or you are familiar with it, okay? This will also often be used in the present tense, not the past tense, like with this one. Okay, also, I just wanna look at a grammar difference between each. With this used to, it will always be followed by the infinitive. Okay, and what's the infinitive? The infinitive is to plus verb. So for example, to go, to take, to sleep, to eat. Okay, if we look at this one, this be used to will always be followed by a gerund. Okay, what is a gerund? A gerund is verb plus ing. So for instance, taking, going, sleeping, eating. Okay, let's see if we can take a look at some examples. I want to start over here. So first example, I used to play soccer, but now I don't. Okay, notice there, to play, so there's our infinitive, just like I mentioned. Okay, I used to play soccer, but now I don't. This shows clearly that I played soccer in the past, but now I don't play soccer. Okay, also notice, I could say I played soccer. But if I say I played soccer, this does not show that it was a long time ago in the past. Maybe it was I played soccer today or I played soccer last week. But if I say I used to play soccer, this shows that it was a long time ago, probably, like when I was a child or something like that. Okay, if we look at an example over here, I'm used to living by myself. Okay, again, it should be followed by a gerund. So there's our gerund. Okay, what's the meaning here? I'm used to living by myself. This means that I'm comfortable living by myself or that I'm familiar with living by myself. Maybe six months ago or a year ago, I was not comfortable living by myself. I was not used to living by myself. But here, I'm used to living by myself means I'm comfortable with it now. Okay, I wanna go back over here. So, we used to take a vacation every summer when I was a child. Again, there's our gerund, used to take. Okay, and notice here, it says, when I was a child. So this was a long time ago. So usually, when we talk about things that we did a long time ago, then we use used to, okay? Again, one more point I didn't mention. If we look at the grammar, we'll see here, this is in the present tense and the present tense. So having the D on used to, again, there's the D, this is the past tense. So we would not say I used to played or we used to took, those are incorrect. So the past tense goes here. Okay, one more example. This one is in the negative. I didn't used to like broccoli, but now I love it. Okay, notice there, I didn't used to like. This means I hated broccoli, but now I don't hate it. Now I love it. Okay, I could also say, I didn't used to play sports when I was a child, but now I do. Or, I didn't used to enjoy painting, but now I do enjoy painting. One more thing, but now I love it, 
is not necessary to say. If I say I didn't used to like broccoli, this means that now I do like broccoli. So I don't have to say this part or this part. Okay, going back over here, I got two more examples for be used to. Okay, she's used to working overtime because she has to almost every day. Okay, in this case, she's used to working overtime because she does it regularly. This does not mean that she likes working overtime. It just means that it's part of her regular habit or part of her regular routine. So maybe she doesn't enjoy it, but she accepts it. She's comfortable with it. So she's used to working overtime. Okay, one more example. Again, this one is in the negative. I'm not used to waking up at six o'clock. Okay, so again here in this example, I'm not comfortable with waking up at six o'clock or I'm not familiar with waking up at six o'clock. So again, maybe it means that I don't like it or maybe it doesn't mean that. But either way, I'm not comfortable with it yet. If I become comfortable with it, then I will say I'm used to waking up at six o'clock. Okay, I'm gonna erase the whiteboard and I wanna take a look at some common mistakes and errors that people do when using these grammar points. Okay, so let's see if we can take a look at some mistakes here I've written up on the board. The first one there says, I am used to play sports in high school. Okay, so this is an incorrect sentence. Why? If you remember, when we talk about used to, to express habits in the past, we do not use be, okay? So if we wanna make this sentence correct, it should read, I used to play sports in high school, not I am used to play sports in high school. So that's incorrect. Okay, also, if I wanna use this sentence to express the other one, be used to, I would say, I'm used to playing sports. But notice, this is a completely different meaning from up here. But this is a correct sentence. So incorrect, and both of these two are correct. Okay, let's look at another mistake here. I used to live there for six months. Okay, when we're using used to to express habits in the past, we cannot say how long. So in other words, we can't say for six months or for a week or for three years, okay? If I wanna talk about how long, I have to use the simple past tense. I lived there for six months. So just the simple past, right? So that means this one is also incorrect. Okay, if I wanna say I used to, I can say I used to live there, but I can't say for how long, okay? All right, there's one more grammar point that I want to introduce, okay? Down here it says, I'm still getting used to living in a foreign country. Okay, notice here this time I've used get used to instead of be used to. So what's the difference? If we notice, getting is in the present continuous form. When we use the present continuous form, it's to show that something is happening now that it is currently happening. So, if I'm still getting used to living in a foreign country, that means that I'm not comfortable yet, but maybe I'm halfway there. So for example, I'm still getting used to speaking Chinese. This means I'm not yet comfortable speaking Chinese, but maybe I'm halfway there. Okay, so that is today's grammar lesson. I hope you're able to understand some of the differences between used to and be used to. Thank you so much for joining me in the classroom today.